Hey everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun video for you. Today I have all the eyeshadow palettes that I bought in 2021. Now I guess I bought about 70. I lost count so I gave up. Most of them I got because they were on sale. I could throw down points, use Rakuten, get, or get a deal of some sort. So let's kick it off with January. The first thing I picked up was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Vault. Now this vault has got the Sultry palette and some eye products. This was a $65 item. It was on sale half price for $32.50. And then I threw down $9 points. So I got this for, I want to say, just under $26, including tax. I already have the Sultry palette. I absolutely loved it. And I couldn't pass up getting a bargain. So that was my first purchase of 2021. The second one that I picked up was a... Jeffree Star was having a BOGO buy one, get one free on his palettes. So I'm not purchasing from Jeffrey anymore. I've just got so much of his stuff and I love his eyeshadow and, but I don't need any more. So, but I did pick up with a BOGO for $54. I got a backup of last year's number one palette, Blood Money, which is still my number one all time favorite green palette. So if you're looking for a green eyeshadow palette, I highly recommend Jeffree Star's Blood Money. And then the free palette I got was a backup of his purple bloodlust palette this is still my favorite purple palette has purples and pinks the only thing i don't care for is the big bulky packaging but if you're looking for a purple eyeshadow palette jeffree star's bloodlust is a wonderful purple palette and i really love it a lot so that was let's see what's next I'm gonna have to move fast um, didn't get anything at all in February. In March, I picked up the LA Girl Desert Dream VIP palette. Now, LA Girl makes my, one of my favorite inexpensive eyeshadow formulas. This VIP palette, I cannot find any. It looks like the, um, Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. Just pick this up. It's $15.99 and I used a coupon and got it for $11.99 on the same day. Now, I did find this one. This is the LA Girl Main Stage Palette. was the same price. And this is so pretty with the blues and the greens. I absolutely love this. But if you're looking for a really good, inexpensive, I, especially with BH Cosmetics, going bankrupt and, you know, everything like that, uh, definitely look into the LA Girl Palettes. Next, um, the Dominique Cosmetics Palettes were on sale, and I'd always heard a lot about Latte and the Berries and Cream Palette. These were on sale for $22 a piece, and I'd always heard so much about it, so I did pick up the original Latte Palette for $21. And I did pick up Berries and Cream, which is a larger palette. It was $22. And I've tried Dominique Cosmetics in the past. I bought the uh, Desi and Katie. But I'd always passed up on these. But once I was able to get them on a deal, you know me, I had to get them. And that's a really pretty berry palette. So next... Looks like March or April was a busy month. I picked up the, the first time I've ever used Kaleidos, which this is really, really pretty. I got the Kaleidos box and packed extremely well. This is the Angelica Nequist Club Nebula palette. And it comes excellently packed let me show it to you without dropping it but this is a discontinued palette from kaleidos and be confident in buying from kaleidos because they have the best packaging ever so i just want to support angelica nequist who's recently moved here to austin 
and that's my Club Nebula palette. I really, really like it. It's got some dark mattes and shimmers and so, so pretty. Uh, unfortunately, it is unavailable, but I'm so glad that I purchased it. So again, this was the collector's box. And instead of having the deck of cards, I didn't get that. I ordered the Escape Pod. And the Club Nebula was $45, and the Escape Pod is $42. And I really like this packaging. This has got the greens. I'm not sure if this is still available or not. I think it is. But I thought this was really, really pretty. And there's your Escape Pod. I think they have free shipping um, over $100, and I think I bought the uh, Space Age highlighters to get that free shipping, but I just want to support, and I've heard so much about Kaleidos, I just want to try the brand. Okay, so next in April, the first thing I picked up was the Melt Cosmetics Mary Jane palette. Now, I know a lot of people love this and a lot of people hate it, and I am on the love side. It is such a beautiful, cool toned neutral palette this was 58 dollars. i picked it up from sephora as soon as i was able to and i really really like it it has a lot of flaky shades but for me it is my new original naked palette so absolutely love melt mary jane then i don't know why the gemini palette popped up being available now this was a palette that i looked at years ago it's always out of stock it's just so hard to find. It's also $58, but for some reason, it was available for a minute, and I was able to finally pick it up. I saw it in store years ago at Sephora, never got it, wished I had, always regretted it. So when I got an email that it was available, I snapped it right up, and that was a $58 palette. Now then Sephora had a sale on the original Melt Blueprint stack. So I think you know that probably uh, this came out in palette form, but because of that, they were having a clearance on the stack. I think I got it for 25 bucks. And so I picked it up because it was a deal. And when I got it, it arrived broken. So I had to let Sephora know. They sent me a replacement. So this is my replacement. And it was the bottom pan that got shattered on the first one I got. So this, I actually got uh, two for the price of one. So that is my Melt Blueprint stack. So Melt was a busy month in April. Let's see what else I got. Um, next, I bought the BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin Palette. And again, because of Angelica Nequist, this being her favorite palette of 2020, I picked that up and again, so sad to hear about BH Cosmetics, but luckily for me, I bought a lot of BH this year. So you'll be seeing quite a bit of it. And this is a really pretty blue and neutral palette. What I really liked about it is all the dark eyeshadows. I've really noticed this year that my taste is leaning toward dark. So that's uh, where I'm headed. So I haven't tried it yet. A lot of these things I haven't tried because I just work all the time and you get stuck in, you know, wearing your favorite things and all that. So, but I'm really happy to have the Blueberry Muffin palette. Let's see, what's next? Juvia's Place. I love Juvia's Place, but I've got almost all their palettes. I picked up the Nomad palette. I really, really like this. I think, I'm not sure if this is still available or not, but this was my first palette of like camouflage colors. And I think it's, well, besides the child palette and the Mandalorian. But anyways, this is really, really pretty. And I do like the Juvia's Place formula. So if you're in the market, this is a really gorgeous palette. And that is the Nomad by Juvia's. Next, Flower Beauty. This is the only Flower Beauty palette that I own. And here is the Flower Beauty Jungle Light. Really, really pretty. Just flaky, glittery shades. I just thought it was kind of expensive um, for what it is. I think you could, uh, I don't know. But anyways, if you're interested, it's a choice. Um, and again, Ulta shipped it broken. This is my replacement. 
and that is the Flower Beauty Jungle Lights. I like it, it's okay. It's a little bit too flaky for me. Next, I picked up the BH Lost in Los Angeles palette. I accidentally bought this one twice. These are all over at TJ Maxx and Marshalls now if you're in the market. But this is a really pretty pastel. Oh my gosh, that looks like the brand new Natasha Denona palette. Have y'all seen, uh, it's on Trend Mood's Instagram. Natasha Denona's next palette is called Pastel. And um, I guess it's going to be out for spring. But anyways, there are pictures. It looks just like this. Oh my God. Except for the purple. There's no purple in the new Natasha Denona palette. But anyways, that's Lost in Los Angeles. And I did pick up two of these by accident. That palette was, let's see, probably $17. Yes, and had a coupon, so I got it for $16.22. Okay, so then in May, Natasha Denona had a BOGO. These were the holiday palettes, I believe, from 2017. This is Joya. And this is Aries. And I'd always heard so much about the formula of these. And I don't know if these were just hanging around or what, but she did a $48 for the set. So I picked those up from Natasha Denona's website and they are so pretty and I haven't tried them yet, but I've been wanting them for years. So that was kind of like the Gemini palette. It just kind of popped up at the right and I was able to get it. So, okay. Um, then uh, Jeffree Star had another BOGO. He had a buy one, get one, and I did want the mini orgy palette. So I picked that up, it was $28, and I got another mini orgy palette free because the lady who works at my post office had been wanting this palette and I've been wanting it. So I picked this up and I gave her the other one. So that was nice. And this is a very, very pretty neutral metallic. And I, I just really, really like that. It goes well with the all matte bigger orgy palette. And I just, um, I just wanted to have it. So I was happy to get that and happy to get a deal on it. Okay, next we have some more BH palettes. And again, these are all popping up at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I got the Remix Dance Party palettes and they were $18 a piece but I was able to get them on a discount. So I think you can get them for $7.99 right now if you can find them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. This is the 80s. And the 80s, I did have a sweater that kind of looked like this. It was black with all the crazy colors, but I think that's so pretty. I think it'd be perfect for summer. And then the 90s. Pastels, really beautiful. And then the 2000s. So pretty, a little more grungy. But that are those BH palettes. Very happy to have them. I'm glad I bought so many BH palettes this year and I did buy a lot of them. Uh, let's see, next we have uh, ColourPop's High Tide. Really pretty teal palette. I saw that in store at Ulta um, and I just thought it was really, really beautiful. I love the tealy blue greens and just a perfect palette. July 31st. KKW uh, went out of business. So I went over to her website and I picked up a whole box of stuff. But as far as the palettes go, I picked up the KK Beauty Camo palette, which I absolutely love. All these palettes, they were super cheap, but I love the KK Beauty Camo palette. So pretty. Let's see, here's my shipping receipt. I'm not sure what I paid for these. Crazy on that deal. Um, but I knew I'd never get them again. And um, KKW Beauty is made in the same building as ColourPop. So I kind of felt like I was buying ColourPop quality and it does remind me of ColourPop eyeshadow. So I went ahead and got them all. So then I also picked up 
This is a uh, matte mauve. Isn't that pretty? So an all matte mauve palette. I don't know, what were these palettes originally? Like 45 bucks or something? I don't know. I think I paid like, I don't know. They were cheap. This is the matte honey. So pretty. And this was the matte crystallize. It's got kind of a, she still hasn't come out. I mean, when Kylie rebranded, she came out pretty quickly, but Kim still hasn't come out with a new KKW Beauty. I, I thought she'd be out in Ulta by now, but still nothing. So maybe she's just trying to get finished her divorce and being a lawyer and all that. I can't believe she's dating Pete Davidson. What, what do people see? Oh, Kaya Gerber, everybody's. But that is the crystallized palette. But again, looks like ColourPop Shadows. So be happy to try that out. Just haven't got around to it. Uh, then uh, I picked up also in July, the Natasha Denona Circa Loco palette. I was on the fence about this palette forever, but I finally did pick it up. And now I had a bunch of points, that's what it was. Cause this is a $129 palette and it's nice bright colors, oranges, pinks, blues, and greens. It was, uh, I had $45 in discounts was the reason why. I had uh, discounts that I had to use up. So I actually picked up this palette for $92.19 which is still extremely expensive, but I had to use it or lose it with the coupons. So I went ahead and picked that up and that is Circo Loco. Next, I've got uh, BH Cosmetics, Passion in Paris, $17 palette. Use some discounts. I can't get that off. This video is gonna be forever, but you can see the nice dark shades on that. Okay. Then the LA Girl Hey Hey Vacay. I really like the greens in this palette. Ugh, again, broken shatter. See, this is what happened to my, every LA Girl palette, I think, I don't know, Ulta has got a problem with LA Girl. They do not pack it, they just throw them in the bubble mailers. So this is so free where I've tried to repair it with alcohol but I really wanted those greens. And again, if you're looking for inexpensive formula, this was $15.99, it was on sale for $11.19. I threw down a coupon, so I got this for $10.50. So if you're looking for some good inexpensive eyeshadow, I highly recommend LA Girl, the big palettes, the big square palettes like this. A Couple more KKW palettes. Now I did pick these up over at Ulta and these were $45 palettes. Got them on sale for $22.50. I threw down $20.50 in points. So I got both of these for $24 plus tax. So I picked up the KKW Classic. So pretty. And I picked up the Classic Blossom, which is the kind of pinky toned. And here is Classic Blossom. So pretty. But they finally got to where they were like 75% 90% off on the KKW. That's when I went back and picked up lipsticks, blushes, bronzers, whatever I could find. But those are the eyeshadow palettes from KKW. So wound up getting six of those on a deal when I'd never purchased from her previously in the past. Next, we've got a ColourPop Fine Feather. I think this was an Ulta exclusive. Again, real pretty pinky palette. It was $14. I got this for free because I used points. It kind of reminds me of Ooh La La, but that is so pretty. You can get it on the ColourPop website. It's still available, I'm pretty sure. 
Then I picked up the Tinkerbell palette and um, that was shipped to me again, broken. And I just don't even wanna deal with Ulta anymore uh, as far as their shipping. So I just kept it. It was a hot mess, as you can see. I put in the alcohol and let it dry and I've just been using it. I just, I just don't even wanna deal with Ulta. But I recommend that you do not buy an inexpensive palette that they're going to put in a bubble envelope. So if you're getting ColourPop or LA Girl, just go to the websites where it is packaged properly. And it's too bad because this is a beautiful palette. Really like that one. Then I did also get that taupe. Really, really pretty cool tone neutral palette. Love this. Again, $14, used a coupon, but that is just so, so pretty. Love that taupe. That is a really gorgeous, cool toned, cool toned. Uh, I had to fix a shade in that one too. I don't know if you could tell, but. Uh, Next, they had a sale half price over at Ulta on the Norvina palette. This is the original $45 palette. It was on sale for $22.50, I believe. So I picked it up. I already have the Norvina palette, but Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes are one of my favorite brands. And I don't mind having a backup. Yeah, that's right. It was $22.50. Such a pretty purple palette. So maybe they're just getting old or something, but I picked up a backup for one of my favorite ABH palettes. Then over at uh, Sephora, I finally caved in and I bought the big ABH Norvina Pro palette. Uh, I think this is number five. This is the Lilac palette. And I haven't tried it yet, but I really wanted to get it, so I finally did. I was on the fence, kept going back and I thought forth. this would really complement the very first one, but actually looking at it, the shades are very, very similar as the first one, but I like this one better because it had the first that had like, you know, neons and crazy colors and everything. But anyways, that is the Lilac ABH Pro Pigment 5 Norvina palette and so, so pretty. Okay, what's next? Next, ColourPop. In September, they released their Hocus Pocus collection. And so they brought back the Gather Round Sisters palette. And I missed that the first time. And I haven't watched Hocus Pocus, but uh, I did get the video and I meant to watch it, but I didn't have time. But anyways, this is the Gather Round Sisters palette. It was $22. And I really love this color story. The pinks, the greens, the neutrals. It really, really is very, very pretty. And I was happy to pick that up. And I also picked up the Witching Hour just because it was a fun Halloween palette. Little cat heads on the back. I didn't care for this color story as much. But it does have the pumpkin oranges, greens, and purples. So that is a fun palette for Halloween. It looks more like Mardi Gras to me. But anyways, that is the Witching Hour palette. Next, I picked up, in support of my girls, the Legendary Diversa collection. And that came out uh, around the 30th of September. The three palettes, the Hummingbird palette, from Tina of the Fancy Face, the Giant Wolves palette of Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner, and I loved those colors the, the most, but I love Tina's too. And I also love Judy. She is the ColourPop queen. If you're interested in ColourPop, she has made videos on just about every single ColourPop palette ever made. So I wanted to support the girls and with the box. These were, um, let's see, I wanna say they were like, I can't remember. They came with a silk scarf if you ordered it. Let me open it up. So here's the box and then the card and then the palettes really nicely wrapped. And I've been watching Tina from Fancy Face for years and I really love her and I think she is so funny. But here is her palette and I really, for I just think the colors are beautiful and just perfect for summer. 
love the shades of the blues and the greens and the bright colors. And um, I just, I love Tina and I want to support her. Then Judy, I've been watching her, her Red Dragon palette. Been watching her for years. And this is the most wearable palette. And I really, really love the shades. The green's a nice pop and just really, really gorgeous shimmers, and uh, Judy is such a sweet, sweet girl, and I just, her ColourPop videos are the best if you're looking for a ColourPop video to watch. Now, Annette, I love Annette because she is into the same kind of, she's very, very colorful. She's from Norway. She's got the beautiful dark color, so I love the shades in this palette so much. And I was happy to support Annette. I think she had two collabs last year. She had another one. But she just, she does the indie brands. And I really love to watch her channel. And uh, so she's one of my favorites. So I had to support the girls. And then, again, the, the silk st scarves that came with is so nice. There's Tina. And then there's Annette. So I haven't taken those out. But anyways, I will buy palettes to support my favorite collaborators just because I watch their channels and it's just a way for me to give back. So that was in September. I tried to go in order, but I kept finding things and finding things and then it just all got messed up. So whatever, I lost track. Okay, next. Um, on the 21st of September, Danessa Myricks came out with her Lightworks 3 palette which I believe is, if not the first, one of the first palettes of multi-chromes. So, Danessa Myrick's Beauty, you can get this. Well, no, you can't. This is, was limited edition, and it's gone. But you have all of your, there are a few metallics, but mostly multi-chrome, duochromes. In the center, you have your holographic face powders. This was a really expensive palette. It was $125, so with tax, it was $137.19. It did come with a free second face palette of these four middle shades, so I did get double that. And it was just, I wanted, I wanted to buy it because I wanted a palette of multi-chromes. And I do like it very much. The only thing that bothers me is like mineral oil is one of the number one ingredients. So it does tend to break down my makeup. But I think multi-chromes in palettes is going to be the norm for 2022. That is my prediction for eyeshadow palettes in 2022. That there's going to, every palette's going to have multi-chromes in it now. But I think Danessa Myrick's uh, Black-Owned Beauty brand uh, paved the way and you can find her products at the Danessa Myricks website or you can buy her at Beautylish so but I definitely wanted to pick up that palette and I was really happy to get that because it sold out pretty quick okay so now we're into October I picked up the ColourPop Cabana Club which was their summer palette but I never picked it up it went on sale for nine dollars but look at how pretty this palette is I just love that for summer. So, so pretty. And I'd been wanting it and I didn't buy it because I don't need it. But, um, you know, I can't let myself not buy ColourPop. ColourPop is just one of my favorites. So that's Cabana Club. On October 5th, I picked up the Juvia's Place Rebel Quad. That was a series of quads that they came out with. But I just picked up the Army one. It was $10. I really like the colors in it. I love green eyeshadow. Threw down a coupon, minus $1.88. So I got this for like $7.22. And just a really pretty green quad. So that was the only, they had, there was a gray one, a blue one, all different colors. But that was the only uh, Juvia's quad that I picked up. So in October, BH cosmetics released the poison shock absinthe palette which is another green palette it was 15 dollars. so pretty i loved all the shades threw down a coupon saved like two dollars and 81 cents so it's just a really pretty absinthe green palette i'm sure you're familiar with absinthe the liqueur i know you are zul so uh yeah nice to see you but anyways there's that and then I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Primrose Palette. This was $55. I had a $10 off 40 coupon. 
threw that down over at Ulta. This is a really pretty warm toned palette and we haven't had a new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette in so long. I wanted to pick it up and it does come with a blush and bronzer shade. So I thought that would be a lot of fun to try in any, we just haven't had an ABH palette in so long. I want to get it. Um, it is really pretty with the plums and the pinks and the neutrals. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to try that. So then I picked up, let's see, what else? Um, the Buxom Ash K Holmes palette was on sale over at Ulta. This is a $39 palette. Ulta had it on sale for $23.40. I'm sorry, I don't know who Ash K Home is, but I thought it was real pretty. And I uh, haven't picked up, well, I got a couple bucks and pallets, the Tiki Bar and the other one over at TJ Maxx. I'm not including any of my TJ Maxx and Marshalls pallets. So these are just strictly ones that I wanted to purchase, not that I just happened upon. But anyways, most of them were deals. But isn't that pretty? Look at that. I, I really love that it's got a black and then, of course, your purples, your neutrals your metallics and um yeah i just thought it was pretty and it was on sale such a deal but got that over at ulta on sale um let's see what's next okay november 23rd Too faced um ulta had all of the little Too faced palettes half price for black friday so these are all 27 dollars, and i was able to get a few uh online but most of them were in store at my Ulta because most of them online were already sold out instantly. So the first one that I picked up on November 23rd, which is my birthday, was the Too Faced That's My Jam. So, and I haven't bought anything Too Faced in forever, but I really like these because they've got the tin packaging and the quality of the old Too Faced tin packaging palettes. So I went to the store, looked at them, and then I bought what I could and so cute and I just thought hey you know you got a mirror you get your nice packaging look at the shades and that's my jam that was like if I could only get one this is the one that I picked up I was able to get that and it's just so beautiful and got that for Black Friday for $13.50 now I went in store and I was able to find even more so again same price $27 on sale for $13.50 so I picked up Let's Play, which smells like bubblegum. Again, super cute. Uh, it barely smells like anything, so don't buy it for the scent. But look at the shades in that. Is that not beautiful? I love that. That is Let's Play. And then Kitty Likes to Scratch. I had to get that because I'm a crazy cat lady in case y'all didn't know. Charlie's sitting right here, but say hi, Charlie. There he is. There's my boy. <laughs> Come here, Charlie. Anyways, that's Charlie. I want to say hi, but uh, usually he walks in front of the camera, but not today. Okay, so here's Kitty Likes to Scratch. Oops, upside down. And that is a great neutral palette because you've got your white, your black, your neutral shades, and kind of your pinky rose tones. So love that. Come here, bud. Get out of the way. <laughs> All right. And then um, uh, let's see what else. Okay, so that does it for that. Then on uh, December uh, 27th, the BH Cosmetics, all of their, uh, I got the Do Not Disturb, that whole line of uh, vulgar palettes. Uh, that Those are $15. I threw down a $3.50 coupon, got it for $11.50, but I liked the colors of this the most. Okay. I just stuck my thumb in this one but uh that is the do not disturb and i just love that again the deeper tones the blues the plums from bh so glad i bought my bh this year 
Let's see, um, found another Too Faced, the Christmas coffee. Uh, that was online only, bought it from Ulta. They sent it to me again, showed up broken. This is the replacement and by the miracle of God, even though they sent it in an envelope with no protection, Christmas coffee came intact. This green shade is the shade that was breaking in all of the palettes, but I love that. Just another neutral palette with that green. Doesn't really smell like coffee. It, it smells like kind of like gingerbread, um, probably some leftover gingerbread scent, but that was fun for Christmas. Then they had this, I've been looking for, for a long time, this Pat McGrath Blitz Astral Quad. Now I didn't pick this up when this came out. I wanna say, what year was it? Maybe 2019. This is the old Blitz formula, which is the formula that you wanna get. I can't remember what this one's called, but anyways, let me show it to you. A couple, these are the special shades from Pat McGrath. So whenever these come available, you either have to get them in the motherships, and even the quads now are not special shades. They're just more like regular metallics and shimmers. So this is the this came out when uh, Nocturnal Nirvana came out. That's another Blitz Astral quad that I have, and I can't remember what this one's But called. anyways, if you're looking for the Pat McGrath special shades, you've gotta go back in time because the new ones are not like that anymore. Um, yeah. So anyways, I was happy to have found that and snatched it up. That one was, uh, $39 and that was on sale. Cause it, that, that was why I didn't buy these quads when they came out. I want to say they were like $59 or something like that. So not only did I find it, I was able to find it on sale. Iconic illumination. Okay. Blitz astral quad iconic illumination. So that's the name of this one, if you can find it. But I, I just got lucky. Some I just kind of hit it right this year, finding Gemini, this quad, the Natasha Denona Aries and Joya palette, which I wanted and missed out on. So I've been really fortunate on getting some things that I wanted but didn't pick up when they originally came out. Okay, next, the uh, Sydney Grace, Mel Thompson, Tiny Marvels palette. I was finally able to get that, I think, on the third restock. You can still go to the Sydney Grace website. It's not available right now. I don't know if they're going to be making it again, but you can put yourself on an email list. And I wanted to get this to uh, support Mel. I did um, donate to Mel's GoFundMe if you want to do that. If it's still going, Kelsey Brianna J running her GoFundMe. This palette is $56. Uh, coupon codes don't work because the money is going to the family. And this is Mel's palette. Oh God, I just want to start balling right now. I, um, I didn't purchase this palette because the shades are not my jam, but Mel Thompson definitely is. She had so much skill and I still watch her videos to this day and I know I've told this story before but when I found out she had passed away it was late in the summer and all of the fireflies had gone by and because it was getting to be too their their time had gone and I was thinking about Mel and I was standing out in the yard and a single firefly went right in front of me and lit up and then disappeared and I looked around and I never saw, that was the last firefly that I ever saw of the summer. And I know that that was Mel letting me know that she's still here with her tiny marbles. But anyways, I, anyways, that's why I bought that palette to support my girl and her family. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So check out her GoFundMe if you haven't already, uh, Okay, uh, next, ColourPop's Orchid You Not. Um, this palette is $14, and it comes in the plastic packaging, and it is stunning. I absolutely love it. It's one of the traditional nine pans. This one is my backup. I have two of them, and this is my number one favorite 
ColourPop palette. I'm wearing it today. Let me show you. It's all the dark plums, purples, but this is Orchid You Not. Uh, it is still available, but I don't know for how long. But if you are looking for a plum purple eyeshadow palette on a bargain, and I bought this. I did not purchase the Natasha Denona, her latest palette. You know which one I'm talking about. Um, her, per, her, yeah, anyways, I didn't buy it. So this was my substitute for that Natasha Denona palette, and I absolutely love it. Again, this is Orchid You Not. Uh, there's a whole collection. I picked up the Sydney Grace Temptalia collaboration, again, to support Temptalia because I've used her website as a reference for years. These palettes were $40 each, or the bundle of three was $89, which is what I did. And I'm going to see if I can get these in order. There we go. Okay, there you go. So doesn't that make a stunning picture? It's really, really beautiful. So we have the three palettes. And okay, this is Quintessence Deep, which is the top palette. Absolutely love the shades in here. So, so pretty. Then the one with her dog is on the horizon. These are available in light and deep. I bought all the deep ones because I'm again heading toward dark eyeshadow. Really like that. A lot of people say these palettes were similar, but they're really not. And then Radiant Reflection, which is like Atlantis below the ocean. I don't think you need all three. These are still available. Just pick what you like, but I liked having all three. So, because they're just nice. They're nice, I like them, I want to support Temptalia. Okay, next, a new brand for me. And this is a brand that I've fallen in love with. I just recently heard bad things. I don't know about the bad things, but whatever. Uh, the first one that I picked up, this is the Adept Cosmetics. This is the original Plain Jane palette. This is $65. Plain Jane has just recently been remastered. There's about seven shades that are the same. And then the other ones are different, but these are, they're soft. They're kind of like super shock shadows as well, but you know, it's real easy. You press them and they just dent right in. They're really, really soft, but I think they're really, really beautiful. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt to order from them because you order and they, you know, it's going to be months before you get it, but some people don't want to wait for it, but I ordered it. I like it. I like them so much that I went back and I bought three more palettes. So, but two of those were this year in 2022. So I'll just talk about the ones I got in 2021. The other one being Kodan. Now Kodan is like the new palettes. The new palettes all have like the Natasha Denona packaging and Kodan's real pretty. Again, the large pans, these large pans are three grams. This palette's actually on sale now. Uh, I paid $54.90 for it. Uh, they've got free shipping at $100, I think. I can't remember. But uh, I do recommend that you pay the extra dollar per palette for cushioning packaging. Um, and I know that they the Kodan is different now, too. But now all the palettes are 2 grams. They're smaller pans. So these older palettes, if you can find them, they've got more product. And I absolutely love the Adept Cosmetics. They're so pretty and uh, absolutely love them. They're based out of Aurora, Colorado. And I've been getting this year more and more into indie brands. I don't think I'm gonna buy too much eyeshadow this year. Um, we'll get to that a little bit later. I mean, obviously I don't need any eyeshadow. I gotta quit buying this stuff because I don't even have time to wear it. Okay, next. Um, uh, the Juvie's Place, uh, they came out with a second edition bundle for $25, and the bundle had the Wahala 2 palette in it. I've been trying to get the Wahala 2 palette forever. It's always sold out. 
and they had a bundle that came with like two other free palettes or lippies or something like that. I can't even remember. But anyways, I finally got a hold of the Wahala 2 palette and just beautiful, beautiful purples and, you know, especially three rows of blues here in the middle. There's some duochrome, but that is Wahala 2 and I've been trying to get a hold of that. That palette originally, it was pretty pricey. I remember it was like for a Juvia's Place, I was like, wow, that's high for a Juvia's Place palette. But anyways, I finally picked it up with a bundle, so I was glad to finally get that. Um, let's see, what's next? Oh, in store, uh, went in around Christmas time uh, when they were having the Sephora sale and got to see in person the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette. Now the Huda Beauty palettes, um, what, they're pretty expensive. They're like $58 or $55, something like that. I didn't think I was gonna get it, but when I, I swatched it in store, and I was so blown away by all, I swatched all of the metallics. This one, this one, they were all so, so pretty. And I highly recommend this palette. If you're looking for something extra special, this is it. It is just so, and you know, this would be good for spring with the pinks and everything. But um, yeah, this was the only palette that I picked up during the Sephora holiday savings event, and that is the Rose Quartz from Huda. And I really like it, and it's a really good complimentary palette to the, um, God, you know which one I'm talking about, her other palette um, that was so beautiful with her, her face on the, uh, I can't remember. But anyways, next, uh, Pat McGrath. Oh, well, I did pick up another one online. I did pick up the Pat McGrath Celestial Odyssey. I decided not to pick up the new Pat McGrath Mothership. It's the only mothership that I don't have. The reason I didn't pick it up is because I would have been purchasing it only for that one Blitz Astral Amethyst shade. I didn't want to pay $129. I thought the palette was very redundant and looked like every other. If you have a Pat McGrath Mothership collection, you don't need it except for that. Ast I wasn't going to pay for one. one. Anyways, I didn't get it. So anyways, this was her holiday palette for this year. I picked up her holiday palette last year. Did I need it? No, I don't think I did, but I picked it up and I love Pat McGrath and I was just wanting some Pat McGrath something, but I didn't want to buy that palette. So at least I got some different shades here. And although there are no special shades, I was able to pick up that other Blitz Astral Quad. So that is the Celestial Odyssey palette this year's holiday palette from Pat McGrath. So then Sephora, for whatever reason, had the Natasha Denona Mini Love Palette, which is only $25 anyways, on sale for $12.50. So even though I have the original Love Palette, I couldn't turn it down for $12.50, probably to move it out before she came out with her new Crush Palette, which is available now with the brush for $25. But if you've already got the Natasha Denona Love Palette from last Valentine's and then the Mini Love and then the Crush, I mean, they're just, there's, it's just all the same thing. Then I went into, uh, during the Black Friday, I went into Ulta and they had the James Charles Morphe Palette. Now this palette was at half price. It's only a $26 palette. They had it on sale at Ulta for $13. So I went ahead and picked it up. I'm not a big Morphe fan, James Charles fan at all, except for he is a super talented kid. But anyways, um, this palette has all the colors in the rainbow. It was only $13. And I figured I would just throw this in the trunk of my car. And if I got into a jam and I needed some eyeshadow or some makeup, I could just have this and I wouldn't care if anything happened to it. But anyways, that's why I picked up the Morphe James Charles mini palette, because I got it for 13 bucks couldn't pass it up. Also, they had all of the uh, Smith & Colt on sale, 75% off. And I picked up, this is the Lilac Flash Palette. This was a $28 palette. I got it over at Ulta for only $7 because they're phasing Smith & Colt out of Ulta. So I couldn't pass it up for $7 so pretty. Again, a kind of pinky purple with a transformative duochrome here in the corner. 
but that is the Smith & Colt Lilac Flash. So if you can get over to your Ulta, see if they still have any left. I also picked up on sale in store the BH Cosmetics Iggy Azalea Totally 2000s. This was a $17 palette. All of, there was like three different ones. It was a purple one, a blue one. Uh, I forget what the other one was. I had a $3.50 coupon, got it for $13.50. And I like purples and I, I like Iggy Azalea. I bought this to support Iggy and I really like this palette. I've used it, I think it's nice. Um, so, and these are all on clearance right now. I almost picked up all three of them. But basically, I just wanted to support Iggy because I think she kind of got the short end of the stick with her and Doja Cat. Doja Cat got all the money. But anyways, I really love Iggy. I saw her this past summer in concert with Pitbull, and that was a lot of fun. So anyways, that is my Iggy Azalea palette. So let's see. Last but not least, I picked up the Whatever palette. They were just having like five dollar palettes or buy to get to so there's whatever that's pretty reds and oranges like that then flutter by really love the packaging with the glitter on it it's like the tinkerbell palette um just so so pretty And this is kind of mauve neutrals. That's gorgeous. Wine and Only. I really liked this one. It was the deeper reds that I was looking for. That is so pretty. Plastic packaging on that. Sweet Talk. Again, peaches, oranges, browns, neutrals. I just really, uh, really fell in love with ColourPop. Blush Crush. Yeah, they were having like 30% off and then you could pick some free palettes. But um, these are the ones that I picked out. Really love that. And if you're not sure what color pop to buy, just go check out Judy. California Love. I used to live in California, and I do love California. This is one of their older palettes, but I never bought it. So pretty. Love that. Orangey Neutrals. Making Mauves, again, another mauve palette. Just press that sucker back down and get some uh, alcohol on it. Fix that right up, no problem. And then last but not least, Nude Mood. And that is so pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I was getting into some nudes this year. Really, really like that. Beautiful, beautiful tones. So anyways, wow. Okay, I am worn out. I'm sure you are exhausted. So, it goes without saying, or maybe it does. My favorite palette from 2021 is ColourPop's Orchid You Not. Highly recommend it. I love it so much. I've already bought a backup. Orchid You Not palette of the year. But with that being said, next year is going to be Indie Brands. My favorite eyeshadow of 2021, not in a palette is Cleona Cosmetics. This is my Cleona Cosmetics. I bought these all in 2021. The squares on the bottom are all Cleona. They're all multi-chromes. My circles across the top are my JD Glow Cosmetics multi-chromes that I bought years ago. 
but this is my favorite eyeshadow of 2021 period. You can take any eyeshadow palette, put this on the lid, just a little bit, very highly pigmented, and you can totally change your look. It's gonna stay on all day. They have a million different shades, and I am transforming almost all of my eyeshadow looks by placing a Cleona on top of the lid. So I don't feel like I need to buy any eyeshadow or very little eyeshadow. I need to use my existing collection, top it off with Cleona. Cleona is only on sale every once in a while. It's expensive. It's, you know, you can get a bundle of like nine for $75 or whatever. But if you want to change your eyeshadow game, quit buying palettes. Just pick up some Cleona. Because that's what I'm going to do for 2022. I did also pick up a couple Adept Cosmetics palette that I recently got that I've only tried for the first time. I picked up the Amunet New Light. And I picked up the Ninhydrin, which is stunning. And I picked up some Sigma Cosmetics because I've never tried their eyeshadow. Cinderella palette and the Wild and Free or something like that. I picked up two palettes from Sigma. So that's all I've bought so far this year. And I'm probably not going to buy very much because I got a lot of eyeshadow to use up. So anyways, that's going to do it for this one. My name is Jackie. Please like, subscribe, leave me a message. Check out my playlist if you want to see my favorite palettes from last year, the year before, or any groups or favorite brands of eyeshadow palettes. Let me know what your favorite eyeshadow palettes were from 2021, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Bye-bye. plastic off. This one's, oh, oh no. And I can't even get this open. I'm jacking up my nail polish.